Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So, man, shout out to Mikey Garcia. So, I was just watching a Fight Hype video, a fight, well, a Fight Hype interview. Um, they were conducting a, uh, an interview with Mikey Garcia, and they were pretty much discussing um, his next two fights and what he plans for for the future. And so, shout out to Fight Hype for that interview. So, Mikey Garcia was, t you know, he was. He was commenting on his upcoming fight with Sergey Lipinis for the 140-pound IBF title. And he was also, you know, commenting on the fact that the WBC has ordered um, Mikey Garcia to fight Linares for that WBC title at 135. So, Linares is currently the WBC Diamond Belt champion. And Mikey Garcia is the WBC champion for that 135 pound uh, division. Linares is also, he also holds that WBA title. So in an interview, Mikey, he had said, um, he had said that they can go ahead and make that fight, that Diamond Belt can be on the line, that WBC 135 pound title can be on the line, and that WBA belt can be on the line. Now you think about this, all of this is coming, the plans for this to happen after the Lipinus fight at 140 for that IBF title. And, you know, I got to say, man, Mikey Garcia, he is doing some great things. And at this point in time, you know, if, if he stays on this winning streak, or even if he beats Lepinus, like Mikey Garcia will be, um, he'll have a belt at 140, the IBF, and he'll have the WBC at 135. But then he can unify. He can unify at 135 and be the WBC, WBA, unified 135 pound champion and then also have that 140 pound uh title for lightweight man mikey garcia you're doing a damn thing bro like much respect to you um a lot of guys not doing that right now and i know certain sanction bodies especially the wbo they don't allow you to simultaneously hold uh belts in different weight classes but it's definitely going down with the WBC and the WBA and the IBF for Mikey Garcia because, you know, last time I've seen this happen was when Floyd Mayweather had the WBC and WBA titles at welterweight and uh, super welterweight. So, man, I just, you know, a lot of people, they talk about the belts and sometimes the belts carry weight and sometimes they don't. You know, maybe it's a little bit of politics or it just depends on who's carrying that title. But at this point in time, man, Mikey Garcia, he's doing the thing. You know, he's, um, all I got to say is the day he fights Lomachenko, Loma better be ready because Mikey is getting a gang of experience fighting bigger guys. You know, he, he's definitely a lot more active now. Like during this fire hype interview, he said that he plans on having that fight with that unification bout with Linares sometime in the summer. So, man, let's just say late 2018, Mikey is in a position where he can get that Lomachenko fight and then all of this hype. I, me personally, I see Mikey Garcia stopping Lomachenko. But let's just backtrack for a second. I see Mikey Garcia. I see Mikey beating Lipinitz. You know, and when Lipinitz won the IBF strap, um, I really wasn't too impressed. You know, me personally, I felt like the other guy could have got the decision, but they gave it to Lipinitz. So, whatever, whatever. All right, moving forward, you know, the Linares fight, I know that would be a good fight. It would be a unification, WBA, WBC. And this guy seemed like he, he's about to become the new belt collector. Like, this guy is definitely collecting belts in multiple divisions. Like, I, I wonder what he plans on doing, especially if and Mikey defends his uh, titles at 135. He gets, you know, he gets the title for uh, IBF. He beats Lippinus and gets that at 140. I already know how the IBF is. They're big when it comes to their mandatories. I don't see Mikey having any uh, problem defending that IBF strap at 140. But the 140-pound division is wide open right now anyway. So, I can, man, it's definitely a possibility for Mikey Garcia to be unified at 140 and 135 simultaneously. All of this 
in preparation for a fight with Lomachenko. Then after he knocks off Lomachenko, something I believe that he will do. After he knocks off Lomachenko, it really puts him in a position where, you know, he's he's pretty much going to get as much experience as possible at those lower weight classes before he tries to crack welterweight. You know, we heard earlier this year Mikey was open to fighting Cotto at 154, and he's called out Keith Thurman and all of that talk. Like, I get it. I respect it. You know, the heart that you uh, that Mike has been displaying. And he's pretty much, you know, he's he's talking to talk, but he's definitely backing it up. So all of this is going to prepare uh, Mikey for a, a good career at 147. My only concern for Mikey Garcia is when he gets to 47. Outside of Adrian Broner, and Danny Garcia, I think Mikey can beat Danny Garcia. Um, I really don't see him beating anyone else. Like even um, unless unless Mikey has some type of growth spurt and he puts on some crazy amount of size for uh, for welterweight, he's just too small. He's a small guy. I feel like if they were equal size, Mikey could definitely beat um, Sean Porter. But Sean Porter's too big and his style. I feel like he'll get Mikey out of there. But we all have to wait and see. Right now, I'm just looking forward to Mikey conquering 135. Um, unifying at 135. You know, getting this title at 140, beating Lippiness and knocking off Lomachenko. Hey, man, if if those are his next three fights lined up, Lippiness, Linares, Lomachenko, I definitely have. Unless some crazy unification bouts happen at another weight class, I will have to... I would have to put Mikey Garcia in my top pound for pound list if he beats Lippinitz, becomes that get that strap, the IBF strap at 140. He unifies at 135. He goes, so he drops back down from 140 to 135. He unifies and then he takes on um, Lomachenko and knocks Lomachenko off of his high horse. Man, I would definitely have to put Mikey in my top five pound for pound. But we just have to wait and see what happens. You know, he got this fight coming up first quarter 2018 with Lepinitz. That's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.